Hello again. Thank you for watching this video and studying math with us. Uh, today is an important day. We're going to talk about fractions and decimals. We're going to talk about how do you write fractions as equivalent decimals, and we will compare the size of fractions and decimals one with another. The new uh, skill that we're going to learn today is writing a fraction as an equivalent decimal. Previously, we learned how to write a decimal as a fraction and put it in lowest terms. So we have two steps. We divide the numerator of the fraction by the denominator of the fraction, and if necessary, we round the answer to the indicated place. Sometimes, using a number line can be helpful in putting decimals in uh, correct order. So here are a number of problems that we're going to embrace during this uh, video lecture. And uh, you'll have an opportunity to work on these in a little bit, uh, but I'm going to begin with the uh, first suite of problems, and so I can look at these and I can declare that 3 tenths is less than 5 tenths. 33 hundredths is bigger than 31 hundredths. 7 tenths is equal to 7 tenths. And here, when I'm trying to compare these, 0 0.006 is tenths, hundredths, thousandths. That is 6 over 1,000. And this is 6 over 100. But I can change these things to have an equivalent denominator by multiplying top and bottom here by 10. And so this is 60 over 1,000, meaning that the arrow points that way. And that's how I do that, uh, that problem. The next suite of problems that we will discuss is uh, writing a fraction as a decimal. So here we will be taking the 5 denominator, dividing it into 2.0. The decimal goes immediately above where it was down here because we're taking a whole number into uh, a decimal number. Uh, 5 goes into 24 times. And so our answer is going to be 0.4. Here, we're going to know that our answer is going to be 4 as a whole number, but then we're going to be taking 6 into 5.000 and 0 because we're rounding to the thousandths if required. So 6 goes into 50, that's where the decimal point will be, 8 times for 48. That's going to be 20, and we will get 3 and that will be 18, but then we get 2 again, and we bring down the 0, and we're going to get 3 again. And we will continue getting 3 uh, off into the future. So if we round to the nearest thousandths, that's going to be 0 0.833 as a final answer. Actually, it was 4 and point eight three three. Now down here we're going to be dividing twenty three the denominator into thirty nine. That's going to go one time and that's going to be twenty three. So we get sixteen and that is going to go it won't go seven times but it'll do this is where the decimal point is by the way. Uh, so it will go uh, six and we'll have 18, carry the 1 is this. We will subtract and we get 22. We bring that down, now that's going to be a 9, and I will continue dividing. And so 9 times that is going to be 7, carry my 2, it's going to be 20, and that's going to be 13. And I bring down the 0 uh, yet again, and that's going to go in there not 6 times, but 5. And we'll get 1, 15. We'll divide and we'll get 15. And uh, that will go into um, that another um, uh, 6 times. So if I round off this, I'm going to get 1.696 as my answer. The last batch of problems that we're going to discuss, actually we have two more, I guess, is writing these, uh, de um, each decimal as a fraction in the lowest terms. Well, this is tenths, hundreds, thousands, so this is 2, 2, 2 over 1,000. 2 will go into both of those, so if I put that in lowest terms, 
I'll have 1, 1, 1 over 500, and that can't be reduced any more. Here I have, this is tenths and hundredths, that is 7 over 100, and that's the complete answer. The last suite of problems deals with arranging numbers from least to greatest, now all of these have 23 and all of them have 0, .0 but now, so these are the same, that is the same as that, is the same as that, is the same as that, but now I start putting these in order. The smallest next number is going to be the 2, and so that is going to be the smallest 23.02. So I've taken care of that one. Uh, the next smallest number has a 7 in that place, so this will be 23.079, and we've taken care of that one. Now these two are tied, they both have an 8, but that number is smaller because it has a 2 in the next place. So this is going to be 23.082, and that takes care of that one, and then we have left 23.088. Now, we're approaching a work area ahead, and so uh, what you should do is, uh, after I show you this next uh, slide, uh, you should press the pause button, work these problems, including the ones I worked through, and um, then uh, I'll be back in a bit to uh, show you some answers. So uh, please begin, pause the video and begin working. I'm back in a bit. I'm going to share answers with you. Again, you may choose to pause the video so that you can uh, review these answers, comparing them with your own and getting help if you need uh, help with these kind of questions. Again, a serious student is going to read the section in the book and do some more problems to get uh, comfortable with these uh, topics. But for now, time is precious. Each day must count. Do the math. It will make you strong. Take care, and I will see you in class.